Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you how you can get a new Xamarin Forms cross-platform mobile application set up. So this video assumes you're using either Visual Studio 2015 or Xamarin Studio and that you already have the Xamarin Forms packages installed. So in order to create your new solution, you're going to need to go to File New Projects and under the Visual C Sharp uh, section, look for cross-platform and you really have two options for creating your Xamarin Forms application, which is Xamarin Forms Portable or Xamarin Forms Shared. I usually go with Xamarin Forms Portable because when you use the shared application, you have to start writing platform specific directives and it can get a little bit messy. Optionally, and assuming you have the Git tools installed, it might be a good idea to create a new Git repository in the bottom right hand corner for your project. I usually do that whenever I start a new one. After that, just give it a minute. It's going to create all the different projects that are necessary for your solution, including the Android, the iOS, and the Windows versions. And perhaps most importantly, your core project, which is the one without the dot extension, um, that has the code that applies to all of your different platforms that you're targeting. Once all the projects are created, you should be greeted with the getting started splash screen, which you can delete from your main project directory. And now there's just a couple more things that we should set up ahead of time before we actually get into coding. One of which is to use the NuGet package manager to make sure all of our dependencies are up to date. Currently, when you create a Xamarin Forms application, they're not going to be. So you should make sure you do this every time you create a new app. So from the updates tab, I hit select all packages, update, confirm it, and I let it do its thing for a little while. So very likely at the end of your updates, you'll see this message at the top, which tells you you need to restart Visual Studio to finish your process. Go ahead and do that. And when you boot back into Visual Studio, all of your projects or the dependencies at least should be up to date. So one more thing you can do for now, if you want to reduce the amount of time it takes for your solution to load is to remove projects you don't need. So if you don't plan on, say, releasing an iOS version of your app, you can simply remove that project from your solution. The files will still exist on your computer, uh, but will not be loaded up when you ever you start the solution. Likewise, if you ever want to add them back in, then you can simply right click your solution, go to add existing item. Uh, find where your uh, main project is located. Look for the iOS version and open up the Visual Studio file for that. So one more thing you're probably wondering about is how to add a universal Windows platform version of the app or how to have that available whenever you create a new Xamarin Forms app. And I'll be covering that in my next tutorial video.